Hi guys, I have great news. Elementor just released a new update with a few new features. One of them is autosave, auto draft, a new library, a new user interface for typography and text shadow, and a new dashboard overview widget. And I will talk a little bit about them all. First thing first, let's update. I go to the back end to plugins and it says there's a new version. 1.9 update now i close this it's updated i go to the page i edit it with elementor and now it looks different when i say hi and i click over here you see when it's automatic updated so if i change this and i change this to something like that then i can go to history revisions and go back again but if I did not do that, it will be saved automatically. So let's do this one more time. I go over here. And if I go to the website, Elementor 2018 forward slash Elementor 1.9, you'll see this over here. So it's saved automatically. What you also can do, and that's the second thing, auto draft. If you save something, it will be shown immediately at the website. Maybe if a website with a lot of visitors and then all those visitors will see everything you are changing. That's not professional. So now I can say save draft. So I change this and now I can say save draft and then start editing things. And now when we go to Elementor 2018, Elementor 1.9, you will not see that change yet. So we can add stuff, for instance, an image. Now, if I refresh the page, you will not see it. So you can work on your page, change a lot of things. An amazing new library, refresh. You don't see the image, you don't see the changed text. So that's great. And then if you want to use it, you click on update. So it is saved, but until you say update, it will not be shown. And now if I refresh the page, you see the image, you see all that other text. And if you want to take a look, you can preview the changes over here without it being published. Let's take a look at the amazing new library. If you want to go to the library before you could go over here. Now you need to scroll down and click on add template. And now you see it looks a bit different. Right now we have new templates. We have trending templates, popular templates, and you can have favorites. So for instance, I like this one. I can click on favorite on the hard and this one. And now if I go to my favorites, I see those two. I can insert them really easily. If I go to new, I can have it descending and ascending. I uncheck this one. So the first one and the most recent one or the other way around, we're trending the same and we can search. So if you search for landing page, you can say LAN and you see all those landing pages or restaurants. Really nice way to navigate. You can go to your own templates and you can order by name, alphabetical, by the type, page or section, by the creator, the author, the date. And what you also can do if you think, I think a lot of people would benefit this page or you want to use this on a different page for a client, you can click over here and you can export it and then you can go to a different website and import the JSON file and you can use it. If I want to import a template, I click over here and I can just drag it in. So I go to downloads and here the JSON file and there it is, services. And you see it's created today instead of a few weeks ago. And you can also save this whole page as a template. So I click on add template and I say save, save your page to library and I say new features, save it. Now, if you go to a different page, you can click on add template and then import the whole page, new features with one click. 
And by the way, if you want to see the result, you can click over here and now you see the website as it looks when it would be live. There's a new user interface for typography and text shadow. So if I click over here, you see the content. And if I go to style, you have the color, it's white, and then you have typography and it looks different than before. Before it looked like this and now it looks like this. It looks better. You can change the size, change the font, weight, transform it to uppercase. And the same goes for shadows. You see it immediately, blur, horizontal, vertical, change the opacity. So that's what you can do. And then we have a new dashboard overview widget. So if I go to the dashboard, you see it over here, which version of Elementor of Elementor Pro, you can create a new page with one click and you can see your recently edited pages or posts. You also can see the most recent blog post. You can ask for help and go to your account. So that's it for the new version. A few things are different, but if you get used to it, it only works better. So I'm really thankful for Elementor for all the improvements they have. They have big plans for 2018. That means that I also have big plans for 2018 concerning Elementor. So I hope you guys like this video and have a great day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff and feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.